Hey guys, it's Lambo Rock Strikes Back once again. And today I'm going to talk about why Hotel Transylvania, Transformania, is the most underwhelming final installment I have ever seen. Let's go. Now, I did. Now, back when this movie was announced, I was like. I think the first film is a, it's, it's just it's just great as it is as a as a final installment to the series, but I was like it's kind of necessary. But I guess I'm I'll go see it since I like I like I like the first three films. The first film was great. The second one's the best one of the series. I like the first film was great. It was average. It was chip red done right. And I saw I remember I remember I saw the trailer for it on the exact same day when Showcase Cinema finally reopened back in 2021. And that was back in um, when I went to see Ryan the Last Dragon in cinemas. So, AK, the final film I saw at Sugar, I, I, the final film I saw at Sugar Cinema before I moved to a new house. And then I was I was looking forward to it. And then, but then ever since Org, and then, then the trailer came out, I was like, okay, maybe this, this could be good. This, this, this look, ain't too bad. This could be a, a, a fun movie. But until the day, it was actually one day before I went to go see Super Squad in cinemas. They announced that that Hotel Transylvania Transformania is going to skip cinemas. They actually announced it one day before I went to go see the suicide the suicide squad the suicide the suicide squad in cinemas not back in two years ago. When I had announced that Hotel Transylvania Transformania is going to skip cinemas, I said to myself, "That is the dumbest decision I've ever heard from Sony," because personally. I know it's their choice, but it just makes no sense because cinema just reopened. You can just release the movie in October, and instead we got fucking instead we got motherfucking Adam's shitty motherfucking family two in October instead of this movie, which that sequel was even worse than its predecessor, which fucked the the two Adam fam, Adam families movies from 2019 and the sequel from 2021. Those films. They suck major balls. I hate those two films with a burning passion. And thank God they're not making a third film. Fingers crossed. And um... But then I watched the movie on Prime Video with my family. And I first watched it... I was disappointed. And I rewatched it a couple months ago. My thoughts got even worse. But by my heart... I now don't like this movie. That's right. I now don't like this movie. I, it's not a rant, guys. I just don't like this movie now. And I agree, and I definitely agree with Frozen 2 Phantasm 4. This wasn't a good movie. I didn't like it. It was, it was such an underwhelming, disappointing way to close the series. And here's the reasons why. Number one, the story is so cliche and predictable. I mean, we've heard this story billions of times in movies. And then when I was watching the movie, I was like, yeah, I can tell they're starting to run ideas. And number two is it doesn't really feel like in the final installment to the series. It feels like another installment to, to a series. There is actually no clue, conclusion to the series. It doesn't feel like a final movie. And three, the humor is hit and miss. Just there are some few funny jokes, but it's just not that. There's just, the jokes is not as funny as, as the first three films. And another reason is they got off Dracula's new voice actor, Brian something, where the fuck his name is. I'm sorry, he is the he was garbage as Dracula. And here he is. He's a YouTuber, which I don't watch his videos, and and. And since I'm not a fan of Dracula's new voice, I refuse to watch his videos now. I refuse to watch the actor who, play, who plays the new Dracula in this in this movie. I'm not gonna watch his videos because I wasn't a fan of his new act, his new voice actor. And Adam Sandler is a is the true Dracula. I like him better. He was great. This one, he's so bland and boring. And another reason why I thought it's disappointing. Is um another reason why it's disappointing. It got a different director. That's right. This movie got a different director. 
it got a different director. When I because of Gandhi Kalinowski, the creator of, of Dexter's Laboratory, Samuel Jack, and I, I show on Adult Swim, the Clone Wars series, not the 2003, not the 2008 series, the 2003 series, which which Dexter's Laboratory is a classic, but this is any joke, guys. I've never seen Samuel Jack. Yeah, that's right, guys. I've never seen Samuel Jack. That is the one show I just don't have much nostalgia to, and. That is the joke, guys. I never seen his new show on Adult Swim, which I forgot the name is, and um, and um, he left the project, and just, he was too busy making this new sh this movie called Fixed, which is going to be an, the second Sony animated film to get an R-rated movie after Sausage Party. Which don't hate me, guys, but so I'm going to say it: Sausage Party. Is underrated. I actually really enjoyed that movie. I just don't get the hate for that film. I actually really enjoyed that film. That film was really underrated. So, so, and it's and, and that film's way better than those two garbage and Adam's family movies, animated ones. Same director. So, ever since I got a different director, I was scared. I was like, and after I was watching, I was like, wait, this is not right. Now, here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of sequels with. Not, not directed by, by the same person because they kind of just ruined the franchise. I mean, there are some films with different directors they didn't ruin it for me. Like, Venom and Carnage got a different director, Andy Circuit, Circuit and that was a great sequel. Avengers Infinity War and Endgame got a different director, and it's the same guys who did Captain America Civil War, and those two films are masterpiece. So, back to the topic, guys. Ever since that happened, it's just, and not just that, and now let's get into this. There's actually one scene that just just made me quit watching, this made me done with this movie. It's a scene with um, when Dracula lied to Johnny, and he says, you lied to me! About, about, about giving that key to Mavis since he's retiring from the Hotel Sonia. And then he turned to the, that, and turned to this um, fucking dragon thing, where the thing is called. And... Honestly, I didn't really mention this in my review because at the time I don't want to get into major get into spoilers. But that scene was face pawn. That is the this is the only bad scene I hate from the whole Transylvania movies. Is when you say you lied to me, you just it just sounds it's just he said this to me and he just got really and then Johnny got pissed off of Dracula and he got pissed that he lied to Johnny. And on the first thought of saying I said myself, yeah, that's it. I'm done with this movie. I'm freaking dumb this movie you how could you so i mean how could you this is this is actually the beginning of the downfall of sony like after spider no way home that was the final sony film i actually really loved and after after this the studio went on to an ultimate downfall with this movie boring mobius and the lyle lyle crocodile these the, these films i mentioned are, are so terrible this was not terrible this was disappointing but that i was nearly done with sony period i was like just give us cross the spider bus already. Which I have patience by the way. It's just it's just just for comedy purposes only guys. And yeah, that, that scene just I was like, I'm done with this movie. So and the end of the film um, which um the hotel got destroyed and then later they rebuild it and then later they says they build it wherever you want. It's your decision. And gave the key to Mavis and Johnny, and then they showed the hotel, and that's how the movie ends. They didn't show the whole thing, it's all cartoony and stuff. And after watching this movie, I actually just grabbed, after that, my parents were to go to bed because I actually first watched this movie exactly a few days before, after I got high from Tim Hortons. Yep, that's right. I first watched this movie a few days after I got high from Tim Hortons. After I got high from Tim Hortons, I actually first watched the movie a few days after I got hired from Tim Hortons, the place I, I work at right, right now, and I still work there to this day. So, and honestly guys, I don't hate this film, I just didn't like it. When I, when I first watched it, I wasn't too sure I want to do a review or do a rant, but it got 49%, it got a low score on Rotten Tomatoes, and of all I hate Rotten Tomatoes, I kind of agree with them. And I'm, I'm not sure I will do a rant, a, a redo, Thoughts on this movie, I might just turn to a rant, but honestly, this is my least favorite Hotel Transylvania movie, and honestly, this is the one I just go back to the least. And I don't mind watching it as a marathon, but I keep hearing rumors it might be on DVD. But here's the thing I might not get on DVD because this movie, I'm actually gonna say this, guys, this is literally the Star of the Saucy, 
so this is literally the star versus the force of your cleat and the teen times things change of teen of of, of hotel trans sorry i'm starting this is literally the star versus the force of your evil cleat and the teen times things change of the hotel transylvania movies yep i'm saying it the reason i'm saying that because these three things i mentioned have a disappointing way to close the series and sony and the director this is how you pay us i mean coming to me who's a fan of this, this series since, since for, ten, for 10 years which i first watched the first week back in sky's movies back in 2013 i became a fan of the series i saw two and three in cinemas and even my parents were planning to, even my mom was planning to take me to see this movie in cinemas back when it was originally going to come out in october but that plan got cancelled due to the fact you skip cinemas and even though I hate VOD, I, 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 I hate watching movies that skip signals, uh, skip signals at home, which nowadays, guys, I have moved on from VOD. I've moved on from my hatred of VOD because ever since COVID came, up, COVID came to an end and there's a pandemic, I've moved on from VOD. I will still mention for memories, but I officially moved on from VOD. Thank goodness I moved on. I'm a changed person. But I rewatched my review. I'm still going to keep it for my memories, but I gave it a 5 out of 10. But... It just breaks my heart, guys. But if you like this movie, more power to you guys. I don't hate it. it. I just don't like it now. But now, I gave it a 5 out of 10, but it's just... I mean, seriously. It just feels like they've got different writers. And I'm going to say this, guys. They've got the wrong director. they got they got the uh, the wrong writers. they got the wrong way how to close the series. And despite some decent acting and some decent... And him as humour, I just don't like this movie now. I just don't. Since I'm not a fan of this movie, will I do a rant at some point? Will I do a redo it and then turn into a rant just like that? Redo it? Honestly, I don't know. Just, I don't know. But I'm actually going to say this, guys. I think it, I, this is not my thoughts on why I think it's disappointing. It just doesn't really feel like a final installment. It feels like another installment to the series. Even on 200 100 agrees with me. I'm just going to say this, guys. I now, give this, I now give this movie a 3 out of 10. I know, shocking. I now give it a three out of ten. Just, I don't like this movie now. It's just, it was, it was just, it just really upsets me. This is how you close out the series, and not just that. This is literally the the Loud House season five of Hotel Transylvania, which they they kind of ruined the characters. They kind of ruined the humor. It's just, they couldn't end on the high note. Just, they couldn't have ended on the high note. They just pull out another Spider-Man three. Which they didn't, they ended on a depressing note, they ended on the random note, just, just, that's what it is. So, thank you guys for watching, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like and share friends, I might do a rant on Barbie 20, 2023, depends if I like the film or not. And, and, and stay to my review on Guys Galaxy Volume 3, um, my review on Bluey and Hamster Gretel, and I'm also, I'm actually currently re-watching Futurama recently. Now, yes, I have watched all the episodes on, on Prime Video back in 2020 during lockdown. But I've been watching the entire series since I've seen the new episodes. So, fingers crossed they um, and and also I might also might do a review on Haley on it, which I have not seen that show yet. Bye.